Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecommon12.blogspot.com and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Nokia Lumia 830. Now a big thanks must go over to Nokia for sending me this overture review. Without them, the series of videos I'm going to be doing covering the smartphone will not be possible. So, let's first take a look at the box before I get to opening it. You can see over here, this shows the green colour as does the indent at the side over here, so this is going to be the green colour. Which is good because the last time I got the orange one and I'm actually curious to see what curious to see what the other colours look like. Although black usually is my favourite colour. Anyway, let's take a look at the back of the box. And quite interestingly, there is no sign of any specifications on here, with the exception of the pure view screen or sorry, the pure view camera and the Dolby enhanced speakers. So, uh, normally whenever companies do this, I'm, I'm like, oh, it's nice other companies to do it for me, but here I'm going to have to actually uh, give you the specifications in the old school style. Anyway, so this, as you can see over here, it's got a 5 inch uh, IPS display, and that is a 1280 by 720 resolution, 720p, and that's 294 pixels per inch. It's also got Corning Gorilla Glass 3, and the clear black display, which makes these tile tiles look like they're floating on the screen when you're actually using it. It's also got 16 gigabytes of internal storage and 1 gigabyte of RAM, and you can expand the storage with a micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes. So, I'll list more specifications as I power on the phone, but first, let's slide this open. And, I really like the look of that, just the way it's neatly presented. Okay, so here's a pull tab of the smartphone. Wow, that's incredibly light. And that green colour looks surprisingly nice. Cool, we'll get back to that in a sec. I'm actually really quite looking forward to that. I'm actually really quite looking forward to that. So, let's see what else we get inside. We get 3-pin plug, a full-size USB to micro USB cable to charge and sync the device. And over here we have... Ah, I was just wondering that. I was actually saying this felt so light. Is the battery even in it? But I thought it would be. So yeah, it turns out the battery is actually separate. Let's take a look. What's the milliamp hours? 2200 milliamp hours battery. So that should do a decent job at charging the device. And looks like we're coming towards the bottom of the box now. We've also got wireless charging. So this just does support the Qi chargers. And at the back, it actually gives you a look at the various ones you can get. And finally, we've got a quick start guide. But we'll be able to handle this and get into this all without that. So let's put the box aside. And let's take a closer look at the Lumia 830. So let's take it out right here. Oh, it just slides out like that. Nice. Wow, this is extremely light. I know the battery's not in yet, but let's just. Oops, a daisy, that didn't sound good. Okay, there we go. Let's take this off. Hmm. I didn't actually see that coming, but yeah, it's actually a bit flimsy the back, but it does feel more solid than ones that you get with Samsung. Over here is a 10 megapixel camera, by the way. I really like the design of this. It's got the exact same design of the camera on the of, of the 42 megapixel camera we got on the Lumia 930, with the exception that it does not bulge out as much. But that's to be expected since it's a 10 megapixel affair this time. So yeah, let's put in the battery. And over here is where you put your micro SD card, by the way. So, and that looks like the Qi charging tech there, or NFC. So, let's put this back on. Okay, it's a bit fiddly, unfortunately, but I managed to get the back back on, so that's great. Let's turn the device on. Where's the power? There we go. And even with the battery inside, this phone still feels so incredibly light. I'm extremely impressed with that. And I was really impressed with the Nokia Lumia 930's incredibly loud speaker. And uh, it really did have a, r a really good extra sort of like kick to it, which I think is down to the Dolby Digital uh, sort of like enhancement right there. And I think that definitely did work. And also, as I said, this, did, does, this does have a 10 megapixel camera on the back, which is also capable of capturing 1080p video. And it's also got optical image stabilization as well, which is great. Uh, what it's also got is a 0 0.9 megapixel front facing camera and is capable of capturing 720p video. This also runs Windows Phone 8.1, it's also got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, and it's a quad-core processor running at 1.2 GHz. And look like the phone's about to turn on. Now, as always with Windows Phones, what actually, what actually happens is that they take extremely long to set up. Uh, really, when it's, like, when it's actually installing all the apps, that's what takes like, quite a long time. So, what I'm going to do, just to save us all some time, is I'm going to go through the setup procedure, then come back to you once I get to the actual main home screen. Okay, the apps I've installed, so let's hit next, and next again, 
and it should take us to the home screen and there we go so I've got no SIM card in there at the moment so there we go, we're right now straight into the Windows Phone interface and as always it's really smooth and just a pleasure to look at and a pleasure to use Looks like it's running at 60 frames per second as well. Now keep in mind guys, this is actually a mid-end smartphone. It's not like the high-end ones you get out there, like the Nokia Lumia 930. And at this point at least, when I'm looking at it and uh, using it, at least my first impressions, the only real omission does seem to be that 1080p display. But, the screen still looks absolutely great. The colours do still seem very, very good. Let's see if can I go into the brightness and increase it, because I know it's going to be set to most likely... Uh, automatic. Uh, there we go, settings. And forgive me for being a bit slow on this, but yeah, yeah, I don't use Windows Phone daily yet. If it impresses me, then eventually I will, if it takes over. Uh, me personally, I think the apps is the only thing that lets it down. Apart from that, I'll be more than happy to use this Windows Phone operating system. It's per really is great. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I can go into? Because I haven't set up uh, anything like that yet. Let's go into... Go on, let's give you a quick look at the camera. Uh, let's just put this down here. Uh, let's... Later. Let's just get to a quick image I can take for you guys. Just apologize if you can't see, but I'm just going to take a photo and then show you what the result looks like. Okay, let's take another, but this time let's focus on the picture manually. Okay, so... Let's start with the first one that I took. Let's zoom in. It's a bit of green, but it does look very clean. You can see that small writing it just picked up as well. And let's look at the one I used with I focused in on this section. And this actually looks better because I focused in on this little part right over here. So, not the best test, obviously, because there's not really much to take a picture of right here, but I'm going to have to do proper real-life tests outside and in indoor scenarios as well. This one does not really count. But yeah, that's a quick look at the camera, and thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for my future videos, I'm going to be doing a front-facing camera test, a rear-facing camera test, a gaming performance test, and of course a full review at the very end. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Take care.